SpaceX has been building their orbital class, super heavy Starship rocket at Starbase for months. And now we have some evidence from Elon Musk telling us when they expect it to launch. Elon went on a Twitter tirade the other night and informed the world about the intentions of launching the ship. And I want to show you some of these tweets. So Jack from uh, NASA Spaceflight posted Booster 7 completed its latest round of testing and Booster 8 was rolled to the launch site. Meanwhile, a uh, B7.1 test tank was rolled back to the production site. Now that means that Booster 7 completed its static fire. And I want to show you that. This is from a tweet from Elon, September 19th, 2022 at 2.30 p.m. It says seven engine static fire. And his reply to himself is great for clearing dust. And by the way, I spent 10 months at Starbase and it is one of the dustiest places that I've ever been in my life. So they moved Booster 7 back to the production site and here's Elon's uh, tweet about it. This is a, a like a hyperlapse, time-lapse of Booster 7 going from the launch mount all the way through the launch site past another booster, and it goes all the way down Highway 4 to the production facility. And this is one of the coolest videos I think SpaceX has ever produced for the transportation of one of these boosters. And as you can see, it goes right into the production facility where in the future, they will be uh, taking off engines and putting on engines, uh, figuring things out as far as what happened during the static fire, going over the data, and reinforcing the Raptor 2 engines for the upcoming orbital flight. Now I want to get into Elon's tweet tirade from the other night. So Jack from uh, NASA Spaceflight, we saw this tweet earlier. Uh, Elon says, our focus is on reliability upgrades for flight of Booster 7, that's the upgrades that I was talking about, and completing Booster 9, which has many design changes, especially for full engine rud isolation. Meaning that if one engine goes out during the flight in any way, then it won't destroy any other engine. So they're going to try to figure out a way to mitigate those uh, that kind of crazy circumstance that might happen during the flight of Starship. Booster 9 might be after Booster 7. It might be the next booster to fly. Elon doesn't say anything about Booster 8 flying here, which we know is at the launch site now because Booster 8 was rolled out. So our focus is on reliability, booster seven and completing booster nine that's their focus those two things so remember that booster seven and booster nine now i want to show you another tweet from elon chris from nasa space flight says not to get ahead of ourselves but you have an estimate for the first booster at 39a which is in florida and there's a big thing going on in florida right now which is they're building another kind of star base in florida right by NASA, like at NASA. So it's gonna be an insane, cool six to 10 months of production of starships and also moving starships. So look at this, look at this from Elon, probably quarter two next year with vehicles initially transferred by boat from Port of Bronzeville to the Cape. So on the way down highway four, right past the, um, the uh, uh there's a, a border patrol right there and on the left side there's a pathway not even pathway it's a giant road it's a big road that goes all the way over to the port of brownsville and i believe this was initially built for something else and also for spacex because spacex will be sending the boosters which i don't know if they're going to be able to do it right from boca chica beach because boca chica beach is only like a mile and a half away from the launch site, but I think they're going to maybe have to cart a booster all the way down Highway 4 to that road that goes out to the port, because I don't think they're going to be able to get a boat into Boca Chica Beach, but I might be wrong about that. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, because I think they're going to be taking the booster to the Port of Brownsville as opposed to taking it to... um the beach right nearby so yeah quarter two next year vehicles initially transferred by boat from port of brownsville to the cape so they're gonna not build anything at the cape right away they're gonna be building in uh starbase right now they're gonna be building those things quarter two of next year possibly quarter three you never know with elon time because there's a possibility that it takes him till quarter four of next year to get something over there 
but they have to test the facilities over there as well because they have the HLS launches coming up and that's for Artemis 3. So they have to get that facility fine-tuned and dialed in before that HLS mission. So they will be doing some launches from the Cape of next year. So that brings me to another thing. I lived in Texas to cover uh, Starship for about 10 months. 10 months, I said minutes, 10 months. And while I was there, I noticed something about myself and about everybody here is that you supported me. You had my back this whole time, right? And people would donate money to help me out with rent, would help me uh, with camera equipment, things like that. And that was amazing. So I want to say thank you. And I plan on next year sometime. It might not be quarter two. It might be some other time next year to get down to the Cape and live at the Cape. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Because I want to do that again. And I, I will need your help. I guarantee need your help because I want to do this full time. I don't want to do this as a part time thing where I go out for an hour, maybe two hours. I want to do this all day, all night like this. I want this to be a huge thing. So let me know in the comments if you want to support me in that any way you can. And if you can just hit the like button and the subscribe button, that'll support me right now moving forward. So thanks for that. Let's move on to the next tweet by Elon. So now we have a lot of information. Booster 7 and possibly 9 going to fly. Booster 8, yeah, we don't know yet. But now here we go. We have this. Hi, Elon. Can you please give us some updates about orbital flight date? I can't wait to see this launch. Elon says late next month, maybe, but November seems highly likely. We will have two boosters and ships ready for orbital flight by then. Um, with full stack production at roughly one every two months. So if that's the case, if they're going to be flying in November, October, November, we have about two months from now, two months to get back down to Texas to watch this flight. We will have two boosters and ships ready for orbital flight by then. Booster 7, ship 24, probably booster 9, and not sure which ship it's going to be. So we'll, we'll leave that one up in the air for right now. Two months, and so they're going to be uh, a full stack production at roughly one every two months. So we have October, November. So that's the next one. December, January might be another flight. March, May, every two months after that. So this is going to be an exciting time for space flight in Texas, but also quarter two, April, May, June-ish from Cape Canaveral. So that's going to be pretty crazy for the next eight months. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments about that, because I think this is going to be the most incredible time in space flight since Apollo. It's already shaping up to be that way with SLS coming up. And now we have uh, two months from now, we have Starship launching and there's no contest. You know, there's no contest between these two, by the way. SLS is going to do its thing. Starship's going to do its thing. Starship, uh, by all means, is probably a better ship. Uh, I love SLS. I think it's a really important ship, but also Starship has so much potential in the future that I think every two months, it's going to be an insane, insane journey for this stuff. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. And this is going to be crazy. I can't wait. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time on the Space News Pod. Let me know in the comments what you think about the flight schedule and me moving to Florida to cover the Cape and to cover boosters and ships floating into the Cape and also launches of Starlinks, Falcon 9s, Starships, SLSs, all those things. Let me know what you think. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, you're still here? Thank you for watching the whole video. If you're still here, you probably want to subscribe. It's over there or up there somewhere. And also there's another video for you to watch right up there. YouTube recommends it to you because they think you're going to enjoy it. So thanks everybody for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. I'm just going to hang out here, by the way. Let's just hang out. Can we hang out together? What do you guys think? I think, um, what do you think? SLS launch first? Or do you think uh, Starship launch first? Hmm. I think SLS, maybe? 
That hydrogen leak, though? I don't know. I don't know. Starship. Pretty cool. Pretty soon. Um, I don't know. Probably SLS, though. All right, bye.